Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining uh, this channel Thank you for visiting this channel Okay, today I would like to share about um, how the data of HPLC result looks like Okay, so you have uh, in the screen now is um, a chromatogram We call this one a chromatogram Okay, from the HPLC analysis so the detector that we used um, during this analysis uh, was a diode array detector okay so with this uh, detector the instrument able to identify uh, so many of uh, compounds yeah so in this example we already um, uh, analyzed five uh, I consider as a five uh, five or four sample okay so at the first place we will run uh, the blank okay to ensure that there is no contamination uh, no impurities in our sample okay and then after we run the blank we run a calibration curve okay a standards so in this case we have four compounds yeah so these four compounds uh, are dimethyl phthalate and then diethyl phthalate biphenyl and auto terphenyl so since we have four compounds so we run uh, a cali uh, a calibrate uh, calibration standards um, four calibration standard in this uh, example so generally we will calibrate uh, run the calibration standard up to seven calibrations uh standard the concentration yeah the concentration of calibration standard uh, up to seven but in this example i just uh, show you um only two okay so we run two calibration standard okay and then after we run that uh, we run the sample okay in order we run this uh, the standard is uh, the aim is to uh we we call it is to uh uh, we call it we want to identify the retention time for each of the standard so in this case for example the methyl phthalate the retention time is 0 0.747 okay followed by diethyl phthalate at 1.0 to 1 biphenyl at 2.5 uh, 2.565 and the last one autosulfonyl at 5.837 minutes so by running the standard we already identified the retention time and then we capture that uh, retention time for the specific uh, individual standard and then we run our sample so when we run our sample for example here we open the sample okay so we still find uh, four pits okay in this uh, sample uh, uh, solution and then the four peaks appeared in this chromatogram so based on the retention time that we capture from the calibration standard uh, we will try the instrument will match the uh, um, retention time in the sample okay and then from this matching of retention time maybe the the the, the time a window is 0 0.05 or 0 0.5 it depends on our setting so any peak that within that uh, window uh, will be identified as the uh, compound uh, the present compound in the sample okay so for this example in this, our sample we find out we uh, four compounds are four peaks which all the peaks are identified Okay, according to the calibration standard so under that we will continue and with other video okay we hope to meet you again in the next video thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh